This is a vlog of sorts on how I traveled 3,930 miles to paint a miniature. My name is Alex and I run a YouTube channel. The videos, you might know them, are about painting miniatures, playing games with the same miniatures, videos on how great this all truly is. You might like your hobby, I certainly like mine. It's not really work, but it's not really not work either. I create out of enjoyment, yet I receive some income for the effort. That's the definition of work, is it not? Getting paid, regardless of enjoyment. Running a YouTube channel on the niche topic of miniature painting and tabletop gaming is an individualistic affair. I wouldn't say lonely, but there's not really anyone else around when I create. Not counting the miniatures. But we shouldn't dig too deep into those conversations, they get weird fast. You try talk to an inch tall bloodthirsty demon and see how that goes. I don't make enough money to pay myself a wage, let alone someone else, or a proper sized demon for that matter. And so I work alone, admittedly with you on the other side of the camera and keyboard. Yet I've come to realize I do have colleagues of a sort, distant colleagues, my creative likes and peers. We share paymasters, supporters, critics and platform. Much like colleagues in other lines of work, we're all different, but deal with the same thoughts and experiences, shaped by the same beast. And so, as so happens, I one day travelled to work with some colleagues, like others do, to meet creators on the other side of the Atlantic. I could say to be inspired, to share ideas and knowledge, share support and recognition, to find comfort and friendship. I could also say I was just bloody curious about these people, how could I not meet them? The rest came later. There was no corporation, conference, master plan, no workshops, no powerpoints, no elevator pitches. There was only the old, mythical, proven through the ages method of saying hi and then hanging out face to face. This was all initiated by an invite from Dave from Mini Wargaming in Welland, Canada. The following transpired in an Instagram chat. Do you want to come over and make a video? Yes. I want that. Can we fix a sponsor to pay for the tickets? Yes, we can. May or October? Let's do May. Are we doing something with Warhammer in it? Probably. Great. Warhammer, or Games Workshop, is another one of our paymasters. Only they don't pay. They just master. No offense. Love you, GW. A small town called Welland, with a bunker themed after science fiction wargaming. The world works in mysterious ways. Oh, and I got the offices sweet. Must not let the hubris get to me. I've never been to Canada. I'm glad I made it. The forests seemed lush from afar. The air crisp. The closed down industries rusty. Reminded me of a great tabletop terrain. I'd land my spaceship here any day. There's a positive feeling involved when realizing that there are other people around that live through similar experiences as yourself. Isolation can result in self-caused alienation, slightly twisting the world against you, at least the parts of the world that don't agree with you. And I don't mean just YouTubers now. This hobby is prone to the same situations. Our hobby, painting miniatures, a calm after today's storm, Clearing our heads like crisp Canadian air, assembling an army or a warband, working on stats and lists, building terrain. Little lush trees and rusty industries. It can all be perfectly enjoyed and executed alone. It can enrich, fill a hole, or like meditation, create a space. It can also breed loneliness. Taking every decision selfishly is many times what being creative is about. Of freedom. The freedom of painting just like I want, of playing the game I like, of making the video I want, of saying this is right because I decided so. It might be a miniature world, but it's my world. My precious. But unchecked, this can in the end build walls, and walls shut other people out. I met the breaker of walls, Dave. 
What a force of optimism. Quite my opposite. I mean, I'm not pessimistic, but it's not like I'm constantly bursting with positive energy. Dave is, and I love it. We had a great time, and I was so generously taken care of and welcomed by his family and the mini wargaming family. We made a video with a script that we ignored. Uh, rather, Dave ignored it. I think that was a good thing, Dave. I'll let you know when it's edited. The best and probably most surprising feeling was that everything felt normal. It felt right, even. Flying 3,930 miles to paint a miniature plastic soldier with a stranger felt normal and right. Thank you, Dave. I emailed Scott. You might know him as Miniac. Dave has invited me to Canada. You're kind of close. I'm wondering if you'd like to host me for a few days and do something together. This sounds like a fantastic idea. Great. Minneapolis was hazy. There was a spicy taste to the air. Apparently Canada was on fire. Still is. The trees look different too, more like there's dinosaurs hiding behind them. Scott picked me up from the airport and we went straight into doing a live stream playing a game of the mini tabletop game Demon Ship. 4,249 miles to play a game rolling shitty dice. And everything felt normal. Right, even. We had great days. The spicy haze in the air cleared up. My morning runs were fresh again circling the golf courses, dodging turkeys on the sidewalks. I was right about the dinosaurs. We filmed a video. Thank you to everyone who helped out. We did more live streams and a podcast with John, Ninjon. The taste of Cherry Mountain Dew still lingers. I had a blast and was again overwhelmed by the care taken to make me feel at home. Thank you, Scott and Anne. Meeting people to share the hobby with, in my case almost colleagues, sparked a validation of sorts. That I'm not alone in this. It's normal and right. We all deal with the beast and we share a lot of similar experiences, but there are also other important things around, like hanging out face to face, sharing these experiences. And why I'm talking about this now with you, dear viewer, if you're still here, and dear YouTube, you're always here, just not impressed, is because I think this is a topic worthy for many of us. To share our time and interests with someone who has similar interests is pretty awesome. Meeting other people that deal with the same thoughts and experiences can really validify and enrich the hobby. This is a great hobby to do alone and it's a great hobby to share. Getting to partake in the big picture of both these scenarios has been good for me and it might work for you too. I know, I'm humbly in a privileged position who got invited and taken care of in lands far away by peers, now friends. But behind all the tutorials, streams, Twitter and Instagram posts, next to you by the paints in the game store, in your Discord group, on Facebook, are the people that build up this community. We keep this hobby alive, we should hang out more. I'm old-fashioned, I'd say we should do it face to face. It can feel both strange and difficult to say hi, to say yes. Yes, Dave, I'll jump on that flight. I could say you should do it to be inspired, to share ideas and knowledge, share support and recognition, to find comfort and friendship. I could also say, are you just not bloody curious about these people? How could you not meet them? There will be, or already has been, depending on when you stumble upon this video, be videos created as a collaboration with both Dave and Scott. When that happens, I shall link them in the description of this video. Please check them out. With Dave, we made a chaotic attempt at explaining to each other why we like this hobby. Filmed at the mini wargaming bunker, in Dave's car, in Dave's house, by Niagara Falls. We also talked about the game Ravaged Star, and played a game of Ravaged Star kind of playtesting the rules. Ravaged Star is the sponsor of this video or this venture, so thank you for that support. Please check out all the links in the description to Ravaged Star and I might be able to do things like this again. Together with Scott and friends, we filmed a hopefully hilarious skit, combining our fine-tuned filmmaking skills to create utter magic. Also, the links to the Trapped Under Plastic episode, as well as the streams I visited, will be linked below. 
The plan for this video was to film a vlog while traveling. It didn't really happen. I filmed some clips. An increasingly rare occurrence as the days seem to be getting shorter and shorter. Yet to please the beast, a video has to be made, sacrificed and eventually forgotten. And here we are. Yet the memories of my journey will live on. And so will my new friendships. And that is maybe the same for this hobby. The more ways we find to enjoy it, alone and shared with others, the longer the journey will live on. Thank you for watching. Bye.